I do breast cancer full time at St. Joseph Hospital in Orange. And uh, we are at my hospital one of the largest providers of uh, BCDP detected breast cancers going into the treatment program. We're very proud of that. Uh, we, and I must tell you these, and, and you know, uh, Dr. Miller, maybe you can even comment for just one second. The uninsured in the United States are not who people think they are. They're, you know, I'm dealing with people who are real estate agents and other, I mean, it's just amazing. And your programs are, are, are a real absolute lifesaver. So I just want to take the opportunity to personally thank you for all of the support you're doing at the federal level. And, and then as you go on telling us uh, perhaps about uh, HPV and other things that the CDC is involved with. And then also we're really interested in any global collaborations that you're doing through the CDC. Okay. Well, thank you so much. That's always good to hear what's actually go going on on the ground. Um, and then you're correct, especially with the economy the way it's been over the past few years, there are a lot of people who are very affluent who now have, don't have jobs and don't have insurance to cover a lot of the health care that they need, and it's a real problem. Um, talking about a few other things that CDC does, um, HPV, we'll go ahead and talk about that. We do a lot of work on HPV, looking at the um, target audience of who should get HPV testing. We talk about HPV vaccine for the prevention of cervical cancer. HPV vaccine is very important and a very um, high profile issue and that this is a way to help prevent women in the future from getting cervical cancer. Um, other things that we do at CDC, surveillance. We have the registries, the National, National Program for Cancer Registries works along with the NCI's program of the SEER, which is the Surveillance and Results Program. There we actually measure all of the cancers that are diagnosed throughout the entire United States. That helps us in a lot of ways. It helps us to determine who's getting these cancers and we can do more investigation as to why so we can help to prevent them. It also lets us know if the treatment, the screenings, and the other things that we're doing for this cancer are actually working. As we can see, cancer has been decreasing, especially when you look at things as cervical cancer. That has been one of the things we can really see with the beginning of PAP testing, cervical cancer, really, the death from cervical cancer and incidence of cervical cancer, which are new cases, really decreased. So we do a lot of work with that. And then we spend a lot of work with education. We have national campaigns. We have the Inside Knowledge Campaign, which focuses about gynecological cancers. And we also have our colorectal cancer campaign, the Screen for Life campaign, which is to educate people about the disease and about what they can do for prevention of disease. And of course, I work with our partners, both on the local and national level, to join forces to fight against this disease. 